I'm not wearing pants, but you know, just don't look down there. Eyes up here, boys. Ladies, don't even look at me. <laughs> um, hi, how are you? My name is Makasi, and today I want to talk to you about a jacket that I've been wearing pretty much every day ever since I've gotten it. It is this Jill Sander and Unique Low Plus J Hyper Down Women Jacket. So, um, I love Unique Low. I made a like 30 minutes video on Unique Low. That's how much I like it, and I'm pretty sure we all do. Like, in terms of fast fashion, I believe they're the best and like probably most ethical, but you know, there's... There is no ethical consumption under capitalism. So, it's just, it's a spectrum, you know? Like, Forever 21, Zara up here, you need to like somewhere here on the good side of the spectrum. So just a quick history about the Unique Low and Jill Sander Plus J collaboration. So um, back in 2009 or 2008, I believe, Jill Sander created a consultant agency and um, her first client was um, Fast Retailing, which is the conglomerate based in Japan that owns Unique Low, or like own 49 or 50% of Unique Low. The collection was called Plus J and it was released. The first collection was Autumn Winter 09. I'll show a few photo here, you know, just basic necessities that you know Jill Sanders is known for. It's very minimalist, it's very uh, muted in terms of colors, like it's very um, on the gray scale, you know, you know what I'm talking about, you know what Jill Sanders is known for. And um, the collaboration lasted about three years and then Jill and Fast Retailing decided not to renew their contract. However, it was only recently that they started a collaboration again. And it was, yeah, 2020. The jacket that I have right now with me is from the first collection, and I believe it's the best piece out of that collection, men and women. Oh, by the way, um, fun fact, you know, um, Raf Simon? Raf Simon is Jill Sander's little brother. Why do you think Jill Sander leave the house? Like, it was because she knew. She knew that she could hand it to Raf, her little bro, and then, you know, the brand will still be okay. Um, don't look into that, don't quote me, I won't deny any affiliation with said statement. Anyway, enough history, let's do this boys. Alright, so, and ladies, um, the jacket, let's talk about the jacket. So, full name, so, the full name of this jacket is Unique Low Plus J Hyper Down Jacket. Let's read what Unique likes to say about the collection and, you know, this piece. So, um, legendary designer Jill Sander returns to Unique Low with her signature modernist style. Inspired by the sense of enlightened understatement, the collection consists of exceptional pieces with versatile styling options, which is true for this particular piece in general. So, a little bit about the detail. So, it is down and polyester filling. You know, it makes this coat very warm, comfortable, it's very beautiful. It's shell with high thread count, has a high quality feel. It repels water and rain, so you know, it's, it's rainproof. Uh, premium down with fill power of 640 or more. Hybrid design use moisture absorbing, heat generating filling on the sides and arm. Large collar and cuffs add to the distinct design. Gross grain tape accents the pockets. Elegant design with hidden zippers and snap buttons. The shell is 100% polyester. The filling is 90% down, or it just says minimum 90% down. The sleeves are 90% down. I'm just like blah 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 blah. Hand wash coal made in China. This is a size large women, and um. I'm 170 pounds, 175 now, something like that. I've been gaining weight, but like good weight, you know? I've been doing my push up and squats. Um, I'm five foot 10. Uh, yeah, so, all right, so what drew me to this piece? So, um, this photo right here, when this photo, when this photo came out, I was like, I have to get that jacket. Other than the photo, like, the detail that you see is the, the collar, right? The, the um, over, over exaggerated um, collar. I think that's very cool and it's also very practical like it keeps you very warm. It's such a unique piece like where else are you gonna find something that's shaped like this besides the Balenciaga C shape because I'll get into that soon but like it has a C shape to it. Also it's a down jacket so like I I've, I've been obsessed with down jacket recently like with my Rico and pickup my Montclair pickup I have a supreme down jacket like I've just been in love with down jackets, like I haven't worn my long coats in a while because with long coats you have to layer it, right? And I've become a lot lazier, so like I just want to be in and out of the house like that. And with a down jacket, you can just put a t-shirt or a sweater underneath and then put this over and you're good. Like with a long coat, you gotta layer it, make sure you keep it, make sure it keeps you warm because it's very stylish, but it's not as practical as a down jacket. Another thing that I love about Unique Low, especially with their collaboration, like they give a lot of freedom to whoever they're collaborating with, like with J.W. Anderson, with June Takahashi, with Neo, like 
they have a lot of creative control because like Uniqlo doesn't really like get in the way of the creative process. They just know what they're good at, which is pushing the product. So the quality control is amazing. Like their their outerwear, like every outerwear that I own from Uniqlo, top notch. My um, engineer Garmin, the fleece collaboration, beautiful piece, keeps me so warm. My um, JW Anderson reversible long long trench coat. Beautiful piece, like the quality is amazing. This jacket is no exception, like it's beautiful, it's well made, and just, it's a beautiful piece. And like, I just, I love it so much. I wear it so often. Another reason like I wanted to get this piece was that, um, or what drew me to this piece was um, its similarity with the Balinska C-shape. As you can see by this coat, it also has a C-shape, like the C-shaped shell, like a turtle shell. Like, I'm assuming you'll be watching this video right now, so you're seeing the C-shape. Okay, so um, how I would style this. So, although it's a navy piece, like, you can't see it from afar. If you, like, 20, 30 feet away from me, you probably think, oh, that's a black net. That's a nice black coat. So, like, it's only until you get very close to it that you can see it's navy, unless you also see the inside. The inside, I don't like the blue. I'll talk about that later. And, um, so, um, first outfit, you know, just keep it simple, you know, black boots, white legged trousers, a black tee, you know, it's spring right now, so it's not that warm, but sometimes it can get cold at night. So, you know, this will keep me very warm. But the second outfit is like a more casual take on it. So, you know, New Balance, Vintage Levi, a black unique little tee, and you know, the plus J jacket. And um, the third outfit, the outfit that you're seeing here right now is where it's like really cold, is where it's winter. So uh, I decided to put a Raph Simmons hoodie underneath and a unique little U t-shirt or a long, oversized long tee, I don't know, a Uniqlo U t-shirt which is a lot thicker than the package tee that is just Uniqlo without the Uniqlo U collaboration. Oh by the way, if any of you fucker make fun of my outfit, I will tell my mom on you. Alright, so let's get to the pros and cons. So first, let's talk about the positive. So, it's so unique, the shape is so unique. The only other jacket that you compare it to is the Balenciaga C-shape puffer and that one doesn't have the amazing color detail that I love. And um, another thing, another pro is that Uniqlo put a lot of their technological advancement, like material and fabric, whatever it is, like into this coat, into this jacket. So like the heat retention, you know, the moisture absorbing and all that, like it's gonna keep you very warm. Another pro about this is also, it's a collaboration. So um, if you decide that you don't want it anymore, you can easily sell it for the same amount of money, if not more. Now the main pro for me personally is that the high color detail, like, I don't know, I just love small details like that. Oh, in this case, large detail, but like, I want pieces not, I've grown past pieces where it's just known for its print, which is ironic that I'm wearing this, but this um, this was enzyme dyed and there's a bunch of hoard. There's a lot of small detail with this particular sweatshirt. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Um, yeah. So um, you, you can also button that high collar details and it's also very structured. So like if you hold it up, it'll stay up. If you push it down, it'll stay down. Like you can lay it flat so then it looks very like like an opening, like, like this, you know what I mean? <laughs> so um, something else that is just personal is that my ears are very sensitive to the cold, like my head, it's fine. Like I don't have to wear a beanie, but my ears, they're very sensitive to the cold. So when you wear this jacket, you can just button up the collar and then you can go into like a small cocoon and it'll cover up to your ear, which is very nice for me. Let's talk about the con. So um, it's a women's piece and I think they made it the shoulder a lot less broad and like I have very broad shoulders, so I have like some trouble with like moving my arm like this. So, you know, that, that's just my fault for buying a women's piece and like pick, not going a size over. I should, I believe I should have gotten an XL, but it still fits me nicely. It's only when I have to move my arm that I feel it. Like if I'm just walking, like it's not gonna do anything to me. Um, another con, this is, this is a very, very important con. The sleeves are gigantic. So like if you try to do anything at all, like you're gonna hit other stuff. While we're on the subject of the sleeve, it's also, it doesn't have cuffs. So then like huge sleeve, like you will not have anything to keep you warm. Like with the Rick Owen coats, like you, they have the cuffs, like the knit cuffs and it keeps you a lot warmer. This piece doesn't have that. So that's a flaw. So, um, so if it's winter time and it's very cold, you definitely need a hoodie or like a nice turtleneck underneath so you can keep your sleeves, keep your hands warm. The moisture absorbing fabric, which is I'm assuming the really light blue on the inside of this jacket, like I do not like that color at all. I think it, it makes the piece look less chic and it just, it makes it a bit more childish in my opinion. Like I felt, I feel like they should have made it a navy or a black so then like it, 
matches the tone of the outer shell. But yeah, um, that's that's my new favorite down jacket. I have worn this since the day I bought it. I haven't worn my Rico ones at all. Like that's how much I love this jacket. But yeah, um, thank you. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm gonna get back into making more reviews video. No more 30 minutes videos. All right, thank you. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.